Okay, the next thing we're going to make is a cascading envelope. And I've made one, I have one actually, I know what I want to do, I should say. I've kind of got, kind of making a mark, if you will. And I'm going to take two pieces. I can get them even here. Even Steven. You know, maybe sometimes it's easier if you... Actually, sometimes it's easier if you go upside down. Now, I have the beginning of my envelope here. That's ah, not quite where I want it. Oh, there's always a problem, child. This one's going to be it. So, now I'm going to want to bring this down. If you don't have a bone folder, excuse my hair, for, my head for getting in the way. bone folder. You can use your fingernail. You can use a ruler. It gives you just a nice crisp fold. Okay. So now I think I want to fold this into thirds. Bring it up. I had to have brought it to here. Uh, if it's wrong, you can, can always refold it, right? All right, so then... Oh, that's still not right. Louise, hold on a second. I have one here that I've already folded. I want that. I wanted it three inches below there. So here's what we're going to do. Mark this at three inches and six inches. Yay, yay. Now I know I want this, and I'm going to put it straight. I normally am not that um, <laughs> precise, but just for the sake of the fact that this is a video, make it a halfway. Nice for y'all. And this one would have been the six.
Okay, goodness gracious. One is the six. And then this folds over. Touch. A snip some of this off because a little scissors. I don't like that. You see that? I don't like that. It's just personal preference, actually. Let's see how that looks. That, and then like that. Much better. Right now. Actually. <laughs> driving y'all crazy yet? That, and then like that. I'm not happy with it. I'm not worried about this showing because it's not going to show. Because... What is going to go in here is a tag. Where did my original go? Looking for it, looking for it. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take art glitter glue. We're going to just run and bead of it here. Right here. There we go. Get it all over my hands. Thing I did not do, let me see if I can grab one real quick. Here, um, lucky enough to have a craft room, I have my son's old bedroom, and I have turned it into my craft room. Um... I have taken an old shoe hold. It's a, one of those over the over the top shoe holder things. <laughs> yeah, excuse. Me. Um, can't think of what you call it. You know, it's a plastic shoe holder rack thing, my Bob. Well, that's what I use to hold all of my. is in good goodness I keep a thought in my head today if my life depended on it 
right, so there's my divot. It's not completely in there real bright, but that's okay. Real bright, real straight. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, if I can find it, have that. And a piece of extra this. So what I'm going to do I'm going to glue this onto this top right here. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it is fabric. This is a sugar bell bottle with a Tim Holtz sponge on the side to hold my needle. Actually, to be honest with you, it does not, um, my Fabri-Tac does not explode out the top when I use this. Which is very nice. As we all have those Fabri-Tac moments, don't we? I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to give this just a real quick, since I've got the Fabri-Tac out. And I'm just going to Seal those down. Now the next thing I'm going to do, you guessed it, I'm going to cut this out. Looks real nice right there. I'm not too worried about up here because I'm going to be stressing it so you really won't see it. Now the next thing I want to do, I want to put Fabri-Tac, I want a Fabri-Tac, I want to put some of this on here. So I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac going to run a line of it and get down there there Up. I'm going to lay this down. The thing about fabric tag is it does give you wiggle room it's with the um the art glitter glue 
Once it's on there, man, she's done. She wrote. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this. What's up? stuff off to the side because oh we're not done one of the first things I like to do is I love to distress everything side I probably could have saved doing that for another time, but you know what? People want to see it. I'm going to do the outside. I think it gives a really nice finished look. Getting time for a new, uh, I'm just sitting on the end of my distress tool because it's comes everywhere. So that's gonna go like that. Have our tag. And this has been coffee dyed, so it's already got a little bit of a distress to it to begin with. Where is my tiny attacher? What Tim Holtz makes a lot of cool things, but this is probably one of his coolest. I love his tiny attacher. Nice little pull for that hole there. I'm just going to give that, get in there, one, two, going anywhere. Thing I'm going to do. What did I do with my hair there? Velcro dots. They're clear. 
Velcro dots. You can pick them up at Joanne's. Anything like that. Anywhere like that. What I'm going to do is that pin go somewhere. Where does this pin go? Oh, how about it goes into the lace? quick before it starts to unravel all over the place. Um, lace that is wound up on a popsicle stick. I'm going to take this and put it right at the top up there. I'm going to take the bottom, attach it to the top. I'm going to close it. Give it a good rub. Now it seals. Open this up. And there's your tag. Now you have journaling space here. You have a uh, card here. And it's seals up just like that and again this is something that you can just glue right onto your page and I think what I may do let me look for something hold on one moment okay here is our um, what are we calling this Got a name for it, you know, cascading envelope with a tag. So I took a little piece of this um, ribbon, cloth ribbon, and I did put a little bit of fray check on the ends of it because it is, you know, kind of a um, a ribbon that not not ribbon, but it'll fall apart not careful with it. So I'm just putting some fabric tack on this here. Right about there. Can you see that? There. And I have this, and you will see this throughout the, um, it's wrong scissors. You will see this throughout the finished journal because it just screams springtime to me. And it's also um just goes so well with the uh goes so well with this whole I can remember which side is the right side because they're both so all right this is the wrong side that's what I want hold that carefully down there it just blends so well with um this kit
Okay. Now I'm going to take this, just set it as close to the center of that as I can. And now we've got, whoops, there you are. <laughs> nice little embellishment to add. Just a nice little decoration. All right, so this is done now and ready to go into our journal. And I'm going to get the other one ready to do because it's got a little bit of work to it. Be right back. <laughs> 